Okay, here it is. The closing T loop, as seen here. And with activation, this is very gentle. It has very good chip memory. In clinical situation, we would like to have a compensator band called the gable. This is the gable band. In the mouth, it will lie like this. The gable band can be seen on page 26. The gable band. Number nine, the double delta loops. Exercise number nine, the double delta loop. The Y use is 1622 for demonstration purposes. We will start with marking at 2A and 2B. This is composed of delta loop, double loop together. First, bend 90 degree up, approximately 6 mm up. Bend the first delta. Three millimeter down. Go back. So the first data is formed. Now you have to be equal about this part and this part. We are going to bend the second data. The second data will be folded in like this Now, two data is formed. But this part is not in the same line, so a small bend needs to be created at this area to make the distal end go inside. With other plier or three prong plier, this bend will be done. As now you can see, a harmony curve of the arch is formed. The same thing will be bent at 2B. And again, one can see that the two legs are not in a harmony curve for the dental arches. So another bend needs to be done with other plier.
One leg is inside, two legs outside. Slowly bending and make a harmony curve of the wire. This is double delta loop. The next loop we use is the leveling loop. Exercise number 10, the L loop. The next loop is the leveling loop. Exercise number 10, the L loop. The wire selection 1622 for demonstration purposes. We can use L loop as a leveling loop or intrusion step by adding two L loop at the point 2A and 2B as shown here. Okay, now with this design as shown on page 20, two L loop is incorporated at the point 2A and 2B. For example, for the mandibular arches. This is designed according to the safety pin principle. This part is designed for intrusion. And this part is designed for extrusion. So the alu is used for the leveling purposes. Exercise number 11, the T loop. Next is the exercise number 11, the T loop. The Y selection is 1622 for demonstration purposes. We add, for example, T loop in the posterior segment to help leveling. This exercise is just like exercise number 8, except the leg of the T-loop is not crossing. But it is recommended to bend the leg of the T touched together.
As compared to the book, this is the size of the tea loop used. In the mouth, it will look like this. Exercise number 12, the data loop. Exercise number 13, the box loop. Next one, exercise number 13, the box loop. This is used to align the canine. Its application is to increase the flexibility of the arches. It can be used well to rotate and derotate the canine to improve the missile inclination of the canine, as we will shown here. First, we bend 90 degrees. Ninety degrees. Ninety degrees here. And the distal leg will be somewhat higher than the medium one. This is the use of the box loop to adjust the mesial distal inclination of the mandibular canine. Tipping the canine forward, the crown will be tipped forward, the root will be tipped backward. The crown will be tipped mesially and the root will be tipped distally as seen here. The next exercise, we will do the auxiliary spring. Exercise number 14, the uprighting spring. Next, the auxiliary springs. Exercise number 14, the uprighting spring. This spring will be inserted into the molar tube. Ninety degrees of bending. We use the largest part of jar box. We make a helix, and we turn the helix inside, and then we leave the arm approximately forty-five degrees forward. and make a hook at the end of the spring. This hook will be engaged on the main arch wire. So it will look like this. This is used, for example, to upright the mandibular second molar. What we must have is double slot, and this will be extended actually to be hooked on the wire. Like this. Will be hooked up here. The uprighting spring. The uprighting spring will be cinched here, and the lacing should be made to prevent the second molar from moving distally.
but the root will be rotated mesially. This is called mesial root tipping. Exercise number 15, the rotation spring.